Well, on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders has won six straight states, but Hillary Clinton still holds a commanding lead in delegates. Still, Sanders' string of victories has the former Secretary of State ramping up the attacks. Auntie Cordes asked Sanders about it today. Today, she says that you want to regulate toy guns more than you want to regulate want to real guns. You want to regulate toy I mean, guns. She's been on this gun thing forever. Uh, I have a D minus voting record uh, from the NRA uh, way before it was popular. I lost an election in Vermont, probably because of my opposition. So we have what got do you to say do to these Sandy Hook families who say you should apologize for your position? Well, I would say that I think that it is, we all are aware of what happened in Sandy Hook uh, is a tragedy beyond comprehension. Uh, I can't imagine anything worse. But I would hope that we could go forward together. But maybe Secretary Clinton might want to apologize to the families who lost their loved ones in Iraq or to the massive levels of destabilization we're now seeing in that region. Uh, well, Secretary Clinton might want to apologize to the millions of workers in this country who lost their jobs because of the disastrous trade agreements that she supported. All of us understand that what happened in Sandy Hook is unimaginable. I cannot imagine anything worse. Our job is to go on from there, not to politicize the issue, and to make sure that we keep guns out of the hands of people who should not have them. On your plan to break up the big banks, yeah. the Clinton campaign and some others felt that the answers that you gave in a recent interview about your plans uh, and your plan's impact were too vague. Well, that's not true. First of all, we are very clear about what we want to do, which is what Secretary Clinton does not want to do. And maybe that has something to do with the fact that she has gotten $15 million for a super PAC from Wall Street. But the bottom line is, in my view, that we cannot go through another crisis in which we have to bail out Wall Street. And we also have to understand that a handful of banks have unbelievable economic and political power. They must be broken up. There are a number of ways to do that. I have excellent legislation in to do that. I will fight to make that happen. All right, Nancy is in Philadelphia tonight for us. Always good to see you and great questions there. Uh, it seems like the race took a personal turn today, which is something we aren't used to seeing on the Democratic side. What's behind that? Uh, I think it's a couple of things, DeMarco. First of all, uh, the Clinton campaign is desperate to stop the Sanders momentum. He's coming barreling out of uh, Wisconsin now with his sixth straight win. Uh, he's got his eyes on New York State, her home state. Uh, it would be an embarrassment, frankly, for Clinton if he even got close to her uh, in the state that she represented in the Senate. Uh, and so uh, they are pointing out to New Yorkers that he has a position on guns, for example, uh, that is to the right of many Democrats in New York State. So that's an issue they are going to hammer again and again. But beyond that, I do think that there are some hard feelings that are starting to settle in on both sides. Both candidates feel that their opponent is mischaracterizing their positions and their beliefs in a very fundamental way, in a way that they both know uh, is not quite accurate. And uh, I think that after months of these two uh, trying to focus primarily on the issue Issues, not always succeeding, but certainly succeeding more than you see on the Republican side. Uh, there, there are some cracks in the armor. And Nancy, you asked Sanders about this gun issue. How is Clinton hoping her position will resonate with New York voters? Well, New York is a state where uh, guns have been a big issue for years, particularly in New York City, which, uh, you know, has the kind of crime that you'd see in any major metropolitan area, uh, many murders every year. And Mayor Michael Bloomberg, the former mayor of New York, really spearheaded uh, the movement starting many years ago to try to impose new restrictions uh, on, on gun purchases and the types of guns that can be sold. Uh, Hillary Clinton Clinton uh, in 2008 was actually to the right of Barack Obama on some of these issues. Uh, but in this campaign, uh, she is to the left of Bernie Sanders. And uh, you can't underestimate the impact of the Sandy Hook uh, massacre in neighboring Connecticut. This is uh, a, a crisis that many people in New York remember well. The New York media covered it extensively. Uh, and she had uh, some, a victim's daughter uh, from Sandy Hook actually uh, do a call with the press today to say that Bernie Sanders should apologize for his belief 
that family members of victims should not be able to sue gun manufacturers. A lot of emotion on both sides of this issue. Uh, we also heard you ask Sanders about the criticism he's gotten over his lack of specifics. <laughs> Multiple times today, uh, Clinton also went after him on that issue. Let's go ahead and listen to this. Like a lot of people, I am concerned that some of his ideas just won't work because the numbers don't add up. Others won't even pass Congress or they rely on Republican governors suddenly having a conversion experience and becoming progressives. Well, in a number of important areas, he doesn't have a plan at all. And still, Nancy, uh, Sanders was very vague in his answer to you about breaking up the banks. Does this matter to his base? He has a lot of support. Well, he insists that his position is actually more nuanced uh, and that he has a lot more specifics uh, than Clinton is making out. He argues, for instance, that he has introduced legislation to break up the big banks uh, and that he has laid out uh, in very um, specific terms how he would do it. It's just that it's a little bit difficult for him to convey it uh, in brief interviews. The Clinton campaign argues that on that issue and on several others, he's kind of glossed over some of the more difficult details. For example, uh, how exactly do you break up a bank? Uh, what do you do to, for people who are negatively impacted by that? What would the negative impacts even be? Uh, nobody really knows. Uh, on something like uh, expanding Medicare for all, how much exactly would that cost the American people? They say uh, that Bernie Sanders has been vague on some of these details, A, because nobody really knows the answer. It's never been tried before. Uh, and B, because uh, some of those details might be uh, unpalatable to the Democratic voters that he's trying to woo. All right, you can see Sandra's supporters right behind you in full form and effect. Nancy Cordes, a reporting for us. Nancy, thank you. You got it.